Now I've lit this dry every night, uh, and what I'm going to do is dust the, all of the excess stuff off of here. Put a trash bag down, of course, and then just dump this out. I'm not really going to save any of this. I'm going to take a brush, the same big one inch or one and a half inch wide paintbrush that I used to apply the glue with, and I am going to get this excess dirt out of here. Okay, so there'd be quite a bit of glue. Now if you look at the steps when we wipe those steps off, uh, here, when you brush this off with a brush, you're actually being able to see the wood slats under and between and around the, the dirt here. When you brush it off, you're going to brush the, the extra foam off too because this foam, you know, is going to end up, you know, a lot of it falling off. Don't go crazy brushing the foam off though because we're going to secure a bit of the foam in place a little bit later here. Now on the rock faces, you may have to brush a little more vigorously uh, to get that excess dirt off of the rock faces because we wipe that over with a wet paper towel and hopefully you know we don't want too much dirt on those surfaces so you can hit that with a little bit of a stiffer brush try not to take the paint off alright now let's see how our top uh, layer of sandbags came out I remember I wanted the planks to show through here so I'm going to dump the dirt off of here then I'm going to smack the excess off here and I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to run it across here. So that looks like, well I still got a bit of a seam down the middle of it, I was hoping to cover that up. Now the hairspray, this is just a regular pump bottle of uh, uh, hairspray, I don't know that it really matters what type exactly, but this is going to seal the dirt down on there. What I'm going to do is I want to cover that crack up. So I am going to take just a little bit of dirt and I am going to sprinkle it down into that crack. Let's get that dirt sprinkled down into uh, just a little bit, a little bit to cover up that crack that's right there in the middle. And hopefully when I soak this with hairspray, this will uh, uh, kind of uh, get rid of that. There we go. So when I spray it, here I'm going to do the hairspray here. You see it, it sort of soaks it a little bit. Now this will dry and it won't be quite as dark as what you see because basically what it is doing when you're, when you're soaking it with hairspray, you're getting it wet. So you're basically turning the, the mud, uh, turning the dirt back to mud again. It actually looks like there's a bit of a lighter line down the middle of that than I had intended. So if you're doing that to cover up the crack, my suggestion is, is to put a little glue down in there, sprinkle dirt, let the glue dry then scrub it off and then spray it with a hairspray. So once you uh, uh, spray this, you want to spray all the dirt sections. And that really darkens the dirt just a little bit. Like I said, it's not going to dry that dark. Once it dries, it'll lighten up a little, but it will be darker than what you first see and just cover, you know, you want to cover all of the foam and all of the dirt that's on here. You're going to cover the uh, foam, the ground foam also, because that will help stick the foam down. It'll sort of uh, uh, cement it down. Now that the hairspray is completely dry, I wanted you to be able to compare the color of the dirt. It's not as dark as it was when you were spraying it uh, and turning it to mud, but it's also not as light as just dry dirt on there. It's just a little bit darker than dry dirt. Now you can see the second layer fits on like it's uh, supposed to here. Uh, it goes on pretty well and it blends in pretty well with the ground. Now I did notice the hairspray did give a little bit of a sheen to the sandbags, just a slight sheen. It's not a gloss or anything, but if that slight sheen bothers you, you can take a wet uh, paper towel or something and wipe off the top of the sandbags and they won't have quite that sheen. I probably would have been better if I just lightly scraped a little bit just in the middle on the tread areas and let the dirt sort of pile up around the outside because as this center one shows even if you hump up the dirt quite a bit that hairspray seems to want to stick it down so uh, uh, you know you don't have to glue it all down that hairspray just seems to, to pull it down and hold it really well now I also put a note on the videos of the rock faces telling you uh, 
you don't have to put the dirt on it's kind of optional if you take a close-up uh, of look at the rock face that I've got I almost wished I didn't have as much dirt in here in other words I wish I would have wiped a lot more dirt out and just had a little bit of dirt in the cracks okay well here's one final view of the uh, finished sandbag fortress uh, this is the size uh, of the gun here and these are the figures from bolt action that are on here so you can kind of get an idea of the scale uh, compared to uh, what you see here so I'm going to turn this around and you can uh, uh, kind of get an idea of how this looks all the way around and after I turn it around here here's the uh, enclosure from the top and this is about how the bolt action miniatures are just about high enough for them to fire over the uh, sandbag enclosure here and then if I take this uh, layer off the top here this is what it looks like on the inside and this kind of gives you an idea of the scale of the figures on the inside